Hi folks, this is Karim Rao from IT Visualizer channel. Today we will begin a new series of or a new playlist or, or a new YouTube playlist. I call it Mass Effect Lab. Uh, this lab we will talk about a very important issue that most of the organizations now concentrate on it or it's, it's not only concentrating on it but it is one of the major uh, concepts that should be applied in any production environment which is the encryption process or the bit locker process every organization if uh, they have for example uh, mobile laptops or so and so or for example they have sales team that have laptops that uh, they need to work uh, on it from outside organization this type of laptops or this type of uh, uh, jobs that uh, they have a risk of losing their laptops or the laptops should be or could be uh, robbed or could be theft so uh, they are this will uh, lead to uh, a major uh, problem concerning the data on the laptops uh, the data could be compromised or could be stolen so uh, the BitLocker ensures that if the, there is uh, the laptop or the sales team one of them lose their laptop they uh, uh, the data on the laptop will not be compromised because it, because it will be encrypted by a strong encryption key uh, through the program of BitLocker or through the process of BitLocker which is a program or it is installed on Windows by default so you can implement the BitLocker on uh, the laptop okay with a strong encryption key so the BitLocker uh, it is if you can get a little bit of a description of BitLocker BitLocker it is a full volume encryption feature okay so you can if you have a Windows operating system and you have two partitions for example C and D so you can encrypt both of them with a strong encryption key uh, the only one that can uh, decrypt this data is the user himself or the administrator so uh, if your laptop for any reason is uh, robbed or it is theft uh, the robber or the thief will not be able to uh, decrypt your data unless you have the encryption key and the encryption key will be only with the user and the administrator so it's a full volume encryption key so if you have for example two partitions C and D so we'll use BitLocker to encrypt the C partition and the D partition and the encryption key will be with the user or with the administrator okay and the encryption key it's a very strong one it's something like 128 bit or 256 bit okay uh, what uh, BitLocker uses something called AAS encryption algorithm this is a very strong algorithm or this is a very strong way of encryption so uh, the BitLocker uh, is very important for any organization most organizations implement them on their laptops on their desktops even for example if uh, for any reason your desktop is also robbed or theft so the user will not be able to or the robber will not be able to decrypt the data because you are using the BitLocker so in our lab the mass effect lab we will discuss how we can implement the BitLocker in a full domain environment okay and how we can uh, with the help of another tool so BitLocker it is the uh, essential tool or it is the primary tool that we will use it to encrypt all of our users uh, volumes or users partitions or users data and by the help of another uh, tool Microsoft has initiated something called Microsoft BitLocker administration monitoring this is uh, a tool that Microsoft provides to help you to administer the BitLocker process okay for example if I have 100 PC or I have for example uh, 120 or what uh, I have for example 100 laptops 100 PCs I need to implement the BitLocker on all of them so I need to have a centralized tool from it I can know uh, which laptop has the BitLocker implemented on it what is the status of this BitLocker if this BitLocker process is finished or it's still waiting or it is in the process uh, who is the recovery agent as we will know later that there is uh, uh, the one that will be able to decrypt the data is the user and you have another one which is called a recovery agent this agent or this user is this the secondary a user that can be able to decrypt the data if the first user is not available okay so basically the recovery agent will be the administrator of the domain so uh, by using the BitLocker administrator administration and monitoring tool we will be able to 
uh, configure okay here is saying that it is simplified administrative administrative interface that you can use to manage BitLocker okay you configure MBAM group policy as we know when we implement a BitLocker on a domain scale or on a domain structure uh, if we need to apply it on a bunch of PCs or a lot of PCs this will be done using a group policy okay so the the main function or the main uh, or the, the tool that we can use to widely implement the BitLocker uh, on uh, a large number of PCs, this can be done through the group policy, okay? So we, with the help of the BitLocker administrator monitoring tool and the help of the group policy, okay, we will be able using this tool to monitor the status of every laptop and PC that has the BitLocker installed on it and also the BitLocker it's not only help you to monitor the status of the BitLocker on different laptops and desktops but to get reports okay so no so these reports can contain uh, the BitLocker status so you can run reports from the BitLocker administrator and monitoring that can give you the status of the encryption or the status of the BitLocker in 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 encryption or different uh, volumes or different partitions and it can give you access to recovery key information so it gives you the recovery key for the uh, BitLocker okay and it can give you a lot of useful reports uh, useful reports we will we, I will show you later but mainly the BitLocker administrator and monitoring it is a way or it is a tool Microsoft provides to uh, control uh, and implement uh, the BitLocker process and not only to control and implement the, the bit uh, BitLocker process but to monitor it as well through monitoring the status of the encryption uh, through creating reports with the status of the encryption with the uh, recovery agents with the encryption keys okay all of this can be done through using the Microsoft BitLocker administration and monitoring tool this is a very useful tool so we will in this lab we will implement a BitLocker on a wide scale on our domain uh, environment and we will use the Microsoft BitLocker administration and monitoring tool to help us uh, monitor the status of the BitLocker and to have more control on the implementation of the BitLocker on a wide scale in our domain environment. This is a very useful tool. I recommend it for all. It's a free tool from Microsoft. I will show you all how we can use it, how we can uh, get benefit from its useful reports. Okay. So why we have named this lab uh, with the name of Mass Effect? Actually, Mass Effect, it's uh, a very famous game, if you can show you all it's a very it's third person or it's uh, uh, RPG game or it's third person role game it's a very uh, famous game that uh, uh, if someone likes the, the science fiction movies or the science fiction uh, universe this is a very very good game it took uh, the best game in 2014 as the best game or the best uh, third person role game okay so this is a very good game I will use it in my lab to create a story from this story we will have our lab so I will use the Mass Effect universe story okay so I can uh, uh, explain for you all how we can implement the BitLocker and to make it more excited or more excitement to see how we can use a good story like this to uh, explain a concept like BitLocker and uh, MBAM which is abbreviation for Microsoft BitLocker administration and monitoring tool so to know this we need to know first a little bit of uh, uh, or we need to know what is the mass effect what is the story of mass effect so I will just uh, I have a little bit of uh, a graph or something like uh, a small brief about the, the 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 story of the game of mass effect so our Mass Effect story uh, happens or uh, the history of this game or the story begins in uh, on a prehistorical times uh, it was 1000 or 1 million years before uh, maybe before the time of the it's 1000 million years anyway so in uh, before the humans exist there was a race called the Levitans. The Levitans was an ancient aquatic race what means by aquatic race that it is a race or an alien race that lives uh, in water or in the bottom of the seas and oceans so this uh, race dominates 
before uh, the existence of the humans and other races this was the dominant uh, alien race as i said before it was uh, or it is an aquatic race okay it has dominated the milky way and they saw themselves that they are the only or the more powerful race okay and every race is uh, should uh, uh, be in their service and should serve them because they are the powerful or they are the most advanced and uh, uh, stronger race okay so uh, this was million million years before the existence of humans okay so this race as I said before lives in the bottom of the seas okay and the oceans and they were like or they are in the shape as the game say like this the shape of the squid or the jellyfish okay so they are in the shape of a large squid or a large jellyfish okay they have advanced uh, uh, brain uh, brain powers for example this also as the game says that they have uh, advanced powerful brain uh, features that they can control uh, other species they can talk to them through using the brain or through using uh, uh, through using their brain powers they can talk to other humans through or other races through using their brain powers and they can control them also using their brain their brain powers okay anyway this was a dominant race our story begins with this race it was the dominant race in the galaxy but uh, what happens after that that they have created an AI or artificial artificial intelligence to help them to uh, control or as i said before also that just to not uh, to forget this race as i said before has uh, dominant or have enslaved all of the other races so uh, they are the first race to begin or they are the first race to be in the uh, milky way galaxy and then they begin invading and making their empire by invading other uh, uh, planets and galaxies and they control all of the other uh, species and uh, galaxies as i said before through using their uh, powerful brain uh, uh, brain functions for example and i said before their powerful technology and powerful uh, knowledge okay so what happens after that they have created an ai an artificial intelligence uh, to help them control or to help them in maintaining their large empire and large uh, large empire and the, uh, and the different species that that they have controlled okay so uh, although their, their brain powers are, are are much powerful or or, the, or their brain powers are very powerful and they can control a lot of species and a lot of galaxies but uh, this was not enough so they have created an artificial intelligence to help them uh, control uh, the other species and galaxies but in the end this artificial intelligence has betrayed them okay and created something called the reaper okay the reaper is a highly advanced mechanical race okay this is a high advanced mechanical race of robots robots with scientific organic uh, structure okay in the shape of starships okay so these robots are in the shape of starships and they are formed of scientific organic structure so uh, they have a brain of a robot or they are uh, structured as a robot but uh, not from metal and steel but from scientific and organic uh, parts okay the reapers reside in the dark space they are they were in the in in the uh, dark space or they are in the space or in the universe but they were uh, hibernated or they were in sleep for about 50,000 years okay before they wake up and begin invading uh, the remaining of the galaxy so from this also will begin our story anyway so after creating the first reaper the reapers uh, uh, ended or rebelled on the Lev Levitians okay or the Le Levianses okay so they have betrayed them so the Levisans or the Levisans was enslaved and betrayed by the Reapers okay as the AI artificial intelligent uh, artificial intelligent which is called the catalyst created the first Reaper and the Reapers have uh, destroyed the Levitans okay which was the dominant species in the galaxy and then not only that they begin to uh, not only uh, 
uh, destroying the Levites, but they continue their way to destroy all of the other or our or any living organ or, 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 or organs or, or living organisms in the galaxy. Okay, so the intelligence betrays the Levites using its using its pawns to slaughter them for genetic material to create the first Reaper. The first Reaper, okay. Uh, or the reapers as a whole uh, their mission was to enslave not only to enslave the other species but to destroy them all and take their genetic material and save it okay so the reapers first or only option or the only objective is to destroy all of living uh, life uh, forms okay and enslave them not only to, to destroy them sorry destroy them and take their genetic material and uh, save it okay so what happens that the Levitans created the AI, uh, artificial intelligence, and the artificial intelligence betrayed them and creating the very stripper which in turn or in other terms uh, uh, destroyed the Levitans and begin his way to invade the remaining of the other galaxies and to destroy all of the other living or, or organism or, uh, or uh, oh, sorry uh, other living organisms in the galaxy okay so the intelligence the reapers continue to multiply and they are dominant to their, to their mind to dominate okay so you want to dominate the rest of the galaxy and their mission to destroy all of the uh, living uh, uh, or uh, or uh, destroy any kind of living organism in the galaxy okay so uh, not only the reapers do this but the the artificial intelligence builds something called mass relay network this is a way that enables the reapers to travel to by far galaxies okay uh, by bending time and space okay so a mass relay it's something like uh, a machine that enables them to jump or when they enter the mass relay they are uh, uh, pushed to millions and millions of uh kilometers in space and time okay so this uh mass relay it's a type of uh transportation or a type of uh, uh transporting uh, the reapers from uh, one place to another uh, and this uh, not only from one place to another and the 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 the, the distance between these two uh, points are large and large numbers of kilometers okay so the intelligent bit the mass relay network to increase the efficiency of the cycles allowing galactic civilization to develop faster and more consistency so the Levitans created the AI and the AI betrayed them and build, uh, build the reapers and the reapers destroyed the Levitans and then they began their way to dominate to or to dominate the other galaxies and species and the AI built a large transportation device to enable them to travel deep in space between uh, the galaxies so they can continue their mission to dominate the all of the remaining galaxies and to destroy off all of the life uh, or, or any life kind uh, organisms okay and enslave the genetic data okay or ge enslave the genetic material so from this or until this point the reapers are continuing on their way to dominate to, to dominate the other galaxies so we have here uh, another race that was uh, uh, also evolving or it's it was in the same milky way galaxy it was the the, Pro the protheans okay the protheans were uh, was an ancient race was mysteriously vanished over 50000 years okay it was vanished by the reapers so the reapers have already destroyed them okay but before destroying them they were uh, a large civilization or it's it was a civilization just a moment so as i said guys the protheans are an ancient race this race was vanished 50,000 years ago it was vanished or it was destroyed by the reapers okay but before that they have arose from a single planet and developed and developed an a immense galaxy-wide empire they have an imp they had an empire exactly like the Levitans okay and they were uh, 
they have a very advanced technology okay and this advanced te technology has apparently survived the ages okay one of these technologies was the mass effect technology this mass effect technology okay uh, okay enables them to travel very large distance in space okay with the least amount of power okay so the this mass effect as i said before bends the time and space continuum or what it's known like space and time uh, bending or to bend space and time just using use the effect of bending space and time to travel large large uh, kilometers in space okay so this technology was achieved okay by the persians okay but when they have achieved this uh, technology uh, the reapers okay uh, known their existence okay existent okay and this will be just a moment here the reapers destroyed the protheans okay and every other race currently in the galaxy okay so the prothean empires collapse with the arrival of the reapers through the citadel just i need to make sure or i need to say that uh, the capital of the protheans uh, species was the citadel okay this was their capital okay so when the reapers uh, uh, arrived to the protheans empire okay the protheans have learned that the reapers uh, exist already by studying the previous civilizations that they had destroyed okay and they tried to uh, fight them okay world by world city by city but this was not enough the reapers at the end wiped out the remaining of the Prussians, okay and no one or the whole uh, race of the Prussians were destroyed okay so the Levitans created the AI which called the catalyst and the catalyst betrayed them and created the Reapers and the Reapers destroyed the Levitans and then they began their way for conquering the other uh, species and galaxies and they have collapsed or they have their first step or the first civilization to destroy was the Protheans okay they have destroyed it okay and the Protheans as I said before is a very high technological species or the high technolo technological alien species they have uh, uh, created the mass effect uh, technology which enables them to bend time, uh, time and space and travel large uh, kilometers or large distance in space so anyway the, the reapers destroy the protheans and every other race is currently in the galaxy okay so the reapers are going more and more in space and they have conquered the first empire which was the protheans empire okay so uh, after conquering the protheans they have gone to an hibernate mode for about how much years the here we can see this it was about 50,000 years okay so after they have destroyed the Protheans okay they have uh, slept for about 50,000 years okay so here we are in the year 2148 explorers on Mars discovered the remaining of an ancient space civilization in that case they have followed these mysteries articles so the humans discovered the Prothean technology which is called mass effect okay this as I said before, enables or this technology enables uh, us as humans to travel la uh, large kilometers or large distance in space. Okay, so this technology was hidden on Mars, and when the humans begin discovering Mars, they have discovered this technology, which was for the Protheans. Okay, so after discovering this technology, the human uh, begin to uh, uh, discovering more and more galaxies in space, and they begin to uh, make an alliance of different species okay uh, but this alliance was governed or it was uh, for the humans so the humans also began to creating empires like like the Protheans okay but at that time the uh, Reapers was asleep but they will begin arising or they will awake and they will begin uh, to conquer or begin to realize that there is other species called humans and they will begin to conquer this uh, galaxy or uh, to conquer the earth and the remaining
planets in the Milky Way. Okay, so humanity discovered a small cache of highly advanced Prothean technology hidden depths beneath the surface of Mars on the south polar region of Prometheus Planium. Okay, I think this is one of the uh, Mars moons. Okay, anyway, building on the remnant of this long existent race, humans quickly explored the science of mass effect, leading to development of faster than light travel and beginning detailed exploration of the solar system. Okay, so now our race or our human race have begun uh, sorry I begin exploring the space after uh, or, or traveling large in space after discovering the mass effect technology which was for the Protheans so after that the humans and Tronians these are th this is another race living in the Milky or the Milky Way they collaborated and built uh, something called the Normandy which is the first uh, or this is a, a spaceship that can travel uh, with faster light than speed or faster speed than light to discover and uh, explore other galaxies anyway uh, we need to know that the citadel it is the capital of the Protheans okay so it was built in space the citadel was built in space and the humans uh, have reached this citadel which was the capital of the Protheans and not only the humans other species have reached the citadel okay and all of the races or, or all of the other races uh, the races and the humans uh, decided to use the citadel as their uh, point of uh, alliance or this is the building or something like the United Nations okay so uh, the citadel was the United Nations that uh, unites all of the other races okay or uh, something like a council to manage or to uh, uh, unite all of the other races okay so in the citadel there is something called the citadel council it is the governing body of the citadel conveying in the impressive citadel tower the council is the ultimate authority in citadel space passing judgments for violations of council law settling disputes disputes between governments and maintaining law and order uh, even though the use of what so and so the council is an executive committee okay composed of one representative so the citadel or the council or the citadel council it's an executive committee composed of one rep representative each from a member of a species for example the citadel council will have a member from earth and a member from troyans and a member from uh, assarians on the member of other species all of them are represented in this council okay and they have no official power over the independent governments for every species okay but uh, the decisions that they, that they take carry great weight through the galaxy okay so there's something like uh, a council that represents all of the species and every species is rep rep represented in this council by a member and it have no uh, power over the governments of these species but it's a it's the decisions have a great weight okay so no single council race is strong enough to defy the others and all have vested interest in compromise and, comp and cooperation okay so now the humans have reached the citadel they have cooperated with the Trojans and they build their first space shuttle or their first space ships to uh, discover the universe okay so to this point uh, this is good and still the Reapers are in deep sleep uh, and uh, we need to know first what is the Trojans okay the Trojans this is other uh, species okay in the Milky Way which are known for their militaristic and disciplined culture uh, originating from the planet Palvin Turians are best known for their military role particularly their contributions of soldiers and starships to the citadel fleet so they are uh, of a nature of mil militaristic and disciplined culture uh, discipline culture uh, sorry uh, culture so they are best to fit uh, to contribute to soldiers and starships to the fleet okay to the citadel fleet okay so until this now our story continues uh, at this point the humans and the other species begin to realize that the reapers have awakened and they begin uh, invading the other uh, planets and galaxies and their uh, influence begin to appear and their danger begin to appear and uh, the citadel council begin to uh, 
fear that they will conquer all of the other races so they began began to search a way to defeat them but all of the uh, ways didn't succeed to defeat the reapers they are they are still going further in space and they are still conquering other uh, galaxies and no nothing can stop them so uh, until this our story will begin from uh, this part okay commander shepherd is the captain of the normandy ship and his crew was assigned a mission to recruit and choose special elite of soldiers from all around the galaxy to help in the defeat of the reapers and from here our story begin okay a secret weapon was discovered to be made by the prothians okay so the prothians before they are vanished or wiped out by the reapers they have discovered a uh, a weapon to defeat the reapers but time wasn't in their sight so they have vanished before building this weapon anyway the humans and the other races discovered this secret weapon and they begin to build this weapon okay uh, so here uh, captain shepherd our uh, hero is on his ship which is called the normandy he one day has uh, uh, his AI or artificial intelligence of the ship so the ship has an artificial intelligence which is called ED the enhanced defense intelligent or pronounced ED easy or ED it's a representative represented visually by a hologram blue spear and early with a feminine voice at various terminals throughout the ship where she can provide basic information about the normandy and service this is something like siren in apple or uh, google talk in uh, android system so ed it's our artificial intelligence of the ship of the normandy she called captain shepherd for a very important issue ED asked the captain to come to the deck of the ship for a serious matter to be discussed that could change the course of the war against the reapers. ED discovered that there is a kind of a weird activity inside her operating system uh, which is unknown for her. She tried to scan it which appears to be a Trojan virus or a Trojan horse but she can't define this type of Trojan which seems to be a new type and that her system didn't encounter that type of viruses or that type of Trojans before and it has infected most of the operating system of the ship and this may jeopardize the whole plan for fighting the Reapers especially she had traced the Trojan activity and its source connection and side connection it was widely spread throughout the entire citadel okay which means that all the moves against the reapers are known so there is a trojan horse and this horse is spying on the uh, uh, the ship of the normandy and not this only it's it's spying on all of the citadel okay system which contains all of the other species and all of the activities uh, concerning the war with the reapers are done in the citadel so the reapers have inserted the trojan that spies on all of the citadel systems and the normandy ship systems so all of their moves against the reapers are known to the reapers okay through this trojan horse so uh, every electronic device is monitored so through this trojan horse it's not only monitoring the or it's not spying on the uh, normandy uh, ship or the normandy uh, ship only but it's uh, monitoring every electronic device in the citadel system and on the ship okay so uh, the reapers know that the alliance is building the secret weapon and they are waiting for the right moment to strike the alliance and destroy the weapon so through the use of this trojan horse they have known or they have knew that there is a secret weapon and they are waiting for the right moment to strike the the citadel and the alliance and destroy the weapon captain shepherd was shocked of course and he immediately thinked to warn the citadel council to take countermeasures but all of the communications and the devices are monitored and the reapers if they discovered that the alliance has known that they are spying on them maybe they will shift to another plan that we will not know so we don't know at least now we are knowing that they are spying on us and they want to destroy the secret weapon but what if they knew that that, that they we have known that they are spying on us so they will go to another plan or implement another plan that we will not know and it will be too late until we know their new plan 
okay and maybe if they know that you are that they have discovered that they are spying on us maybe they will initiate a quick attack okay so what shall captain shepherd do should he inform the council or the citadel council or should he not or if he if he will not inform the alliance or the citadel council he cannot work alone he needs an assistant of the citadel council and the forces and the alliance of the citadel or the forces of the citadel council and the help of the other species so what he should do inform them or not so he suddenly have an idea he asked Edie to call commander Anderson this is the uh, representative of earth in the citadel council she so asked him to meet him on the board of the ship of the Normandy for a very important matter and he informed Edie with his genius plan so he asked to uh, see commander Anderson which is the representative of earth in the citadel council he asked him to meet him on his ship to ask him or to uh, ask him for or to tell him a very important matter soon the ship of commander Anderson arrived and he soon was in a meeting with captain Shepard and when he asked what was the urgent matter that he asked to meet him for and he couldn't inform him with it through the communication devices captain Shepard asked commander Anderson if he would like to drink something to refresh his mind and to concentrate perhaps a cup of tea was meant could help and he asked the droid robot to get him the tea as soon that the droid robot bring the tea and commander Anderson began drinking it he began to feel dizzy and he felt unconscious a minute later commander Anderson found himself awakened with commander Shepard in his command center and he apologized for him that he had to do this because the meeting was being heard by the reapers and as soon as he felt unconscious he moved him to a place where the reapers can spy on them and two robots look the same like him and commander Anderson are doing the, conversa uh, the conversation or doing a false con conversation so the reapers or so to fool the reapers okay so he informed him about everything and his plan was to spy or use the spy or the trojan system of the reapers for their advantages to tell the reapers false news and to trace back the connection to the source or the homeland of the reapers and strike them before they could prepare themselves so the commander shepherd will use the spy or the trojan system for their advance he will uh, through using this trojan system he will get some news or tell the reapers or send some false news and false uh, alarms to the reapers so they are uh, deceived okay and uh, to uh, point them to the way or point them to the places that we need okay and due do, do, or uh, or during doing this we will trace the connection to the source and to know the homeland of the reapers because uh, the citadel council didn't know where is or where is the location of the reapers they are moving from one place to another so this trojan system will help us to know the location of the reapers and to use this trojan system to send false uh, news and false uh, plans to them okay so to deceive them and to push them to places that we need okay so this was the uh, plan for commander shepherd and in, at the same time he asked Edie to clean up the ship from the Trojan system how he will do this he asked her to uh, move all of the data and, uh, and 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 encrypt them so he needs Edie to move all of the data from her operating system and encrypt them and uh, move them so he move and encrypt the data of the ship and move them to the secondary operating system so ED have two operating system okay the first operating system was infected by the Trojan horse and the secondary operating system was still intact and it was not infected okay so he told her to do this due d during the regular time of updating the operating system so ED has a regular or regular interval of times to update its operating system and this will deceive the Trojan system so during the regular time of updating the first operating system for the ship he will close it completely 
destroy or 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 he will he will during the process of updating the first operating system he will move all of the data and everything to the second operating system and he will encrypt the data for safe or more safety okay so it had a difficult task she need to move and create a new active directory domain for the ship crew and to encrypt all of the terminals in the ship using the latest BitRocal algorithm by Microsoft and use the MBAM tool, the one that you have been talking in the beginning of the video, by Microsoft to have reports about the status of the encryption of the terminals and the recovery encryption keys and the recovery agents. So ED, the artificial intelligence of the ship, need to create a new active directory domain for the uh, mass effect or for the ship crew and move or create users for the ship crew and uh, the different active directory objects okay so what he will or what the ed will do it will create a new active directory domain for the normandy ship and will create new users computers and so and so and it will not only do this it will also encrypt all of the terminals in the ship using the algorithm or using bitlocker just to uh, secure the data on the terminals okay in the ship okay so this is a very uh, critical task so she need to do this so this is the main objective of our lab our lab is to create a new active directory and create uh, users computers and uh, every active directory object using powershell scripts and then to begin to implement bitlocker in the domain through using uh, group policy and then set up the mbam uh, uh, mbam tool to uh, begin using the uh, group policy of the bitlocker to implement or to widely spread the bitlocker among the operating systems of the domain or the operating system of the workstations in the domain we will see that in the upcoming video but this is our story and here is our scenario this lab is for those who want to implement encryption of laptops desktop using BitLocker provided by Microsoft on a large scale in a domain environment using group policy. Using Microsoft BitLocker administration and monitoring to monitor and implement BitLocker and using reports and agents to monitor compliance and the encryption status of all of the PCs in the domain and also recovery encryption keys as well. The encryption in this lab is done on all fixed hard disks and operating system drives and removable media like USB. The encryption type will be AES 256 bit. Okay, so this is the uh, type of encryption that we will use. The bits of the encryption that we will use. Sorry, guys, wait for a moment. So we will begin our, our scenario that we will have. We will create uh, a virtual machine using the Hyper-V as our hypervisor. We will create a virtual machine and then we will create our mass effect first domain controller. We will create users groups and group memberships by using PowerShell scripts. And then we will create a group policy, a group policy for the BitLocker and we will have or and we will create home directory user shares and department shares this also will be discussed and then we will create uh, a DHCP server and we will create a file server and we will have uh, a file screening and quota limit so we'll have file screening to block uh, on the shares or on the file shares to block audio and video and we will have a quota limit we will limit our file shares and user home shares to a certain quota limit by gigabytes and then we will uh, create an mbam server so we will have one uh, virtual machine as first domain controller we will put on it dhcp and we will put on it file server role and uh, we will create on it department shares and home user directory shares and then we'll create a second virtual machine This will be our mbam server or this is the server. It will be a member server We will create or we will set up on it the Microsoft BitLocker administration and monitoring tool Okay, and then we will see that before uh, set up the mbam software We need to have some prerequisites or we need to install additional software before installing uh, the mbam tool so we'll have two parts explaining this and then 
we need to deploy the MBAM client so this tool will monitor the BitLocker process on each PC by using a client this client should be implemented or should be installed on all of the PCs in the domain we will see how this will be done and then at the end we will create a virtual machine okay and join this work work it will be a workstation Windows 10 it will join the domain and we will see after that uh, the different group policies and the different department shares and home user directories will appear on this virtual machine or this workstation that had joined the domain and then we will begin applying the bit locker policy so we will have a PC that we will join in the domain and we will begin applying different group policies including the BitLocker group policy and you will see how the BitLocker process will work and at the end we will set up a management studio or a SQL database so this SQL database the MBAM tool will use it to store the data of the BitLocker on it and to run reports from it so there should be should we have a database so the MBAM tool will uh, store the different data concerning the BitLocker uh, process or the BitLocker status for every PC in the domain so this should be stored on a SQL database and from this stored data on the SQL database we can run different reports okay so this is briefly what we will do in the lab and uh, we can have a look on the different uh, files that we will use in this lab if we can show you all for example here is the uh, let me show you all this is the mass effect domain this is the file that we will use during the lab for example here we can see the backgrounds and the different uh, we will will we have a unique background to be installed on all of the PCs or every user that have uh, an active directory user account should see a certain background and a certain screen server and a certain lock screen uh, when he logs in with his active directory user or any PC in the domain okay for example this will be uh, the background that every user will see when he uh, logs in on any uh, PC uh, that have joined the domain okay so this is one this is the first folder and then here we will have uh, the users that we will create in the uh, mass effect domain the mass effect domain let me show you all so here we will use a script to create the users so first we will create a domain controller first we will create a virtual machine and then we will install active directory uh, uh, domain services on it and then we will promote it or promote this uh, vm to be a domain controller and this domain controller will be the first domain controller in a domain that we will call mass effect and then we will create different users in this domain so we can see that all of these let me show you all these are all about how much users about 89 users all of them are real characters or real names of the characters in the mass effect uh, game for example here is Melanda Lawson this is a very known character and this is Ashley Williams this is also a very important character and here we can see our commander Shepard okay Legion okay all of these are very known characters that you play with it in the game so this is our all the users that we will create so we will create this active directory user accounts using uh, using this okay PowerShell script okay so this is the active directory users uh, okay let me show you all something and this is the organizational units okay as I said before uh, when you organize something in your partition for example if you have a lot of data in your partition for example movies games uh, music so you need to create a folder for music and put every uh, mp3 in it and then you ha you need to create another folder called movies and put every videos and movies in it so this is a way to organize your things on your partition or your hard disk of the windows so in the active directory terms uh, you need to create organizational units to uh, organize your active directory objects or to put your active directory objects in it the same as creating folders in the windows to put your different items in it so you create a folder to put music in it and create another folder to put movies in it and so on so so here is our organizational units here we will have 
our main organizational unit that will be the citadel and then we this is the main organizational unit we will have a domain that we will call it meu okay dot local and then we have an organizational unit called users here we'll put all of our active directory users here we will put it and then we will have an organizational unit called terminals this is our computers we put all of our active directory computers in it and then there is uh, organization unit called Gethys. Gethys, this is like robots okay so this is a organization unit for robots we will put all of the robots in it and then we will have an organization unit called security groups this is the organization unit we will put our active directory security groups in it and there is another thing called EDIS this is uh, another organization unit that it resembles also uh, computers but I name it according to the artificial intelligence of uh, the ship because basically the, all they are all terminals on the same ship so they are all part of the ship so we call it EDIS so terminals Gethys and EDIS all of them are computer objects okay and users and squad team this is uh, for uh, organ for active directory users so we'll have users put in users and squad team this is an organization unit for the ship members for the normandy ship member members we will have uh, a separate OU created for them and the users organization unit will put all of the mass effect characters in it but uh, except of the ship team it will be in a separate organization unit okay so this is our organization unit this is our users okay and then we can have a look on our uh, security groups so here is the security groups here we will group or we will create security groups according to the also mass effect domain for example here we have uh, uh, a group for every type or every species in uh, mass effect uh, universe for example here is a, a, a group for the Krogan this is a species okay and Asarian this is also for another species and this is a group for the humans okay and then we will have another organization or another group for the artificial intelligence okay and then we will have uh, normal organization units this uh, sorry or normal uh, groups for example IT group we will have a group for the Citadel Council we will have a group for the medic team for the ship squad team okay so you as I said before we can create active directory groups according to different criteria. one of them is to create them according to species according to jobs according to uh, programs and so on so so here we will uh, group users according to their species according to their jobs according to their uh, uh, according to the programs that we will use so this is all the uh, groups that you will create and we'll have uh, a group called all species this will contain all of the uh, species in the uh, mass effect universe okay so this is the groups and we have seen the users and we have seen the organizational units we can have a look on the computers so here we can see that according to our scenario that uh, all of the computers are within the Normandy ship and the Normandy ship has an artificial intelligence called ED so I have named an ED have terminals okay or the ship have terminals uh, located or distributed among the ships so I named every terminal according to ED's name so ED okay terminal 01 ED it's for ED and TER is abbreviation for terminal 01 and so on so so this is the name of the computers okay this is will be the computers and then we can have the robots we can see here that we have I have named them as Geth this is a type of robots in the mass effect universe is called Geth so every uh, group or every department in the organ uh, every department in the mass effect domain for example we have a mass effect IT department we have mass effect HR department so every department will have 
a, a group of or a couple of uh, robots to serve them so this is robots will be named geth this is a type of robots or robot term used in the mass effect universe so we have a group of robots every robot will be uh, a couple of robots to to serve a certain department so this is the users group and all of this will be uh, created using a group policy sorry all of these are will be used created using the uh, uh, powershell scripts okay and i can show you all something here we will use a script we have used it previously in the uh, lab of dc comics this is a script that i need to implement when every user logs in for the first time uh, uh, using his Active Directory user account so we will have a PC that will join the domain and then we will give the user his Active Directory user accounts or the Active Directory user account and the first time he logs in with his user or Active Directory user account I need to have some uh, things uh, done to his desktop for example what I need to happen is to have this PC and the uh, uh, control panel sorry have this pc appearing on his desktop and this pc to be replaced and have his name or have the name of the pc put so we will remove this pc and then we will have desktop so and so so you will have the icon of the desk the icon of the pc and under it the name of the computer okay and then after that i need when he logs in for the first time i need to have the english and arabic keyboard installed i need the cortana to to be hidden i need the time zone to be uh, the cairo time zone and i need uh, to install a program that is called idle log off that will log off the machine if it is idle or it's not working for 3000 seconds okay so all of this will be done using a script I will show you all how this is done. This is, has been done already before in the DC Comics lab. So if you need to know more, please refer to my previous lab. But we will use this in also in this lab. And this is a bunch of group policy templates we will use. This is a, a bunch of group policies for not only the Windows, but for the Firefox, and for the Chrome, and for the classic shell. So this is a group of, or a bunch of group policies that we will use to control how the user will see his Windows will see his firefox will see his chrome so this group policy will control how the user will see different programs in his environment how he will see the windows environment how he will see the firefox environment how he will see the classic shell and so on so okay we have discussed this also in the previous videos so uh, i think this is basically a small uh, brief about what we will do in our video in the upcoming video I'll begin discussing how we will uh, create our first virtual machine and we will have it or install Active Directory first we install Windows Server 2019 on it and then we'll begin installing Active Directory domain services and then we will create our Mass Effect domain and then we will promote it to be our first domain controller so until I see you all the upcoming video hope this video was informative for you all and would like to thank you all for viewing thank you so much